One. What happened? You look sad. Two. The girl made a sad face. Three. I cooked grilled chicken yesterday. It was so tasty. Four. The tradition particular to the area is dying. Five. The paper has many interesting points. Six. He kept silent for a long time. Seven. Keep the window open. It's so hot here. Eight. This is a song familiar to many children. Nine. The melody makes the song familiar to us. One, he is a kind boy. Two, he looks kind. Three, he looked kindly at me. Four, thank you. I won't forget your kindness. Five, I don't care about the instructions. Six. You have to take care with the instructions. Seven. Read the careful instructions. Eight. Read the instructions carefully. Nine. You should be careful about the instructions. Ten. Bad impressions can be created amazingly easily. One, we will be landing at Narita Airport soon. Two, don't tell me you ate the cake in the box. Three, put your hands on your head. Four, he was sitting in the corner of the room. Five, wash your hands with soap and water before lunch. Six. On the way to my office, I dropped in at a coffee shop. Seven. Where are you? I've been waiting for you right in front of the Hachiko statue for over thirty minutes. One. A. She left Spain yesterday. B. She left for Spain yesterday. Two. A. She attended the meeting last week. B. She attended to her child all night. Three. A. He runs in the park after school. B. He runs a restaurant in the town. Four. A. He has changed his hairstyle recently. B. He has changed greatly since his promotion. The old woman ran into the little room and brought out from the cupboard the big peach. The next day. The stranger came again, brought Aladdin a beautiful suit of clothes, gave him many good things to eat, and took him for a long walk, telling him stories all the while to amuse him. One, a, he suddenly turned toward the door. B, he slowly turned the wheel to the left. C, the leaves turned yellow. Two, A, I found the book interesting. B, I found the book easily at that bookstore. C, I found my son an interesting book. Three, A. 
She makes her husband a cup of coffee in the morning. B. She made a brief visit to Taiwan. C. Her jokes always make me laugh. 4. A. You should keep all your receipts. B. In the library, you should keep quiet. C. This will keep your head and ears warm. One. Cinderella was so surprised to see her that she stopped crying. Two. One day, the old man went to the hills to gather firewood, and the old woman took some clothes to the river to wash as usual. One. The first step in his career path is to start his own business. Two. He finally quit his job to start his own business. Three. He gave up his attempt to start his own business. One. Waiting for the bus gave me a chance to observe my surroundings. Two. Waiting for the bus, he realized he had left his cell phone at home. Three. The people waiting for the bus complained loudly about the long wait. 1. Tell me about the company you work for. 2. He is the person I respect most. 3. The book you are reading is Norwegian Wood, isn't it? 4. What was the name of the book you told me about the other day? 5. The dress she is wearing today must be expensive. 6. I like the color of the car my father bought last month. 7. Didn't you know the man you are talking with is a famous actor? 8. The city I visited last month has a lot of places you should definitely see. 1. He is proud of being a member of the team. 2. We are now talking about who is responsible for the matter. 3. Whether I am married or not is none of your business. 4. The problem is that she believes whatever the man says to her. 5. I think that's where you're wrong. 6. We made it clear that what he had said was totally wrong. 7. It can be hard to tell whether what you experienced was discrimination. 8. It is certain that whether we will succeed or not depends on what assistance we can get. 9. It can be said that how to make use of the library is a key for your academic life at college. 10. I think that what is making me so upset is that what happened to Japan a long time ago is happening to this country right now. The North Wind and the Sun had a quarrel about which of them was the stronger. One, we never forget the pain we feel when we have to say goodbye to someone we love. 2. The time will surely come when we have to say goodbye to someone we love. 3. We never know when we have to say goodbye to someone we love. 1. 
Can you tell me where you are going to live? 2. My favorite restaurant is in the town where you are going to live. 3. I once lived where you are going to live. 1. Strangely, as soon as she began to repeat this song, the peach began to come nearer to the bank where the old woman was standing. 2. The old man and his wife were so astonished at what they saw that they fell to the ground. 3. The old man was much surprised at hearing this from a boy of 15. He thought it best to let the boy go. 4. He answered that since he was not her real father, he could not insist on her obeying him against her wishes. 5. While everyone stared in astonishment, Cinderella drew from her pocket the other slipper and put it on. 6. He told her how anxious he was to see her safely and happily married before he died. 7. Once upon a time, a cat and a monkey lived as pets in the same house. They were great friends and were constantly wrapped up in all sorts of mischief together. What they seemed to think of more than anything else was to get something to eat, and it did not matter much to them how they got it. 8. When the prince came out onto the palace steps, he could see no sign of the lovely princess. The guards at the gate told him that nobody had passed there at all except a little ragged kitchen maid, and the prince had to go back to the ball with only a little glass slipper to remind him of the beautiful lady with whom he was so desperately in love. 9. Once upon a time, there was a king and queen who, for a very long time, had no children. And when a little daughter was finally born, they were so pleased that they invited a number of fairies to a christening feast. But unfortunately, they left out one old fairy, and she was so angry that she said the princess should die when she reached the age of 16 by pricking her hand with a spindle. 10. The Dog and His Reflection A dog, to whom the butcher had thrown a bone, was hurrying home with his prize as fast as he could go. As he crossed a narrow footbridge, he happened to look down and saw himself reflected in the quiet water as if in a mirror. But the greedy dog thought he saw a real dog carrying a bone much bigger than his own. If he had stopped to think, he would have known better. But instead of thinking, he dropped his bone and sprang at the dog in the river only to find himself desperately swimming to reach the shore. At last he managed to come out of the river, and as he sadly stood, thinking about the good bone he had lost, he realized how stupid he had been. It is very foolish to be greedy. 11. The princess answered, that even if she consented to marry any one of them, his heart might change afterward because he did not know her as she had been before. 12. When the old man gave her no peace, asking her again and again, and insisting that she must know what had happened to his pet, she confessed everything. She told him crossly that the sparrow had eaten the rice paste she had specially made for starching her clothes, and that when the sparrow had admitted to what it had done, 
in great anger she had taken her scissors and cut out its tongue, and that finally she had driven the bird away and forbidden it to return to the house again. 13. The princess told the old man that all these measures to keep her would be useless, and that when her people came for her, nothing could prevent them from carrying out their purpose. Then she added with tears that she was very, very sorry to leave the old man and his wife, whom she had learned to love as her parents, and that if she could do as she liked, she would stay with them in their old age and try to pay them back for all the love and kindness they had given her during her earthly life.